Hi everyone, I'm Obi from Middle Eats and today I'll show you how to make mashi, rice stuffed vegetables that are eaten all over the Middle East. There's a lot of regional differences in mashi dishes, but today I'll be showing you the Egyptian way of stuffing baby aubergines and peppers. To make this you'll need a kilogram of baby aubergines, four small green peppers, one and a half cups of short grain rice, 400 ml of crushed tomatoes, four tablespoons of tomato puree, one large onion, a bunch of dill and a bunch of parsley, two and a half teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon pepper, and finally 500 milliliters of stock. To start, you need to finely dice your onion. Peel your onion and then dice it really thin. You wanna get the pieces of onion close to the size of your rice granules. You should end up with three quarters of a cup of onion when done. If not, add another one. When chopped, add your onions to a bowl. For the dill, you'll need to strip all of the leaves off of the stalks. Grab the stalk and pull the leaves and they should come off easily. Once you have a large pile, finely chop the dill using a sharp knife. You need about half a cup of chopped dill. For the parsley, you'll do the same thing. Pull your leaves from the stalks and try to remove all of the stalks except the fine ones near the leaves. Finally chop your parsley and you are aiming to be left with about a cup of chopped parsley. Pour your rice in a colander and wash it under cold water until all the starch is removed and the water runs clear, then leave it to dry. When completely dry, add your rice to the bowl with the onions. Add two thirds of your salt and then follow that up with most of the pepper. Give it all a quick mix till the salt and pepper are evenly spread. Next, add your crushed tomatoes to your rice. You can make crushed tomatoes by blending fresh or canned tomatoes in a blender with a small amount of water. Add three tablespoons of the tomato puree to the rice and then mix it all together. At this point, taste your rice. It should be pretty salty and you should feel the pepper easily. If you can't taste them or it's not strong, add more salt or pepper and mix it through. Next, you'll add the herbs. You need to add twice as much parsley as dill. Pour some in and mix it and then taste it once again. It should taste really herby. If the flavors aren't obvious, then add more in. To prep your aubergines, cut the top off. You should try and get them all to a similar height so they cook evenly. With the tops off, it's time to remove the core of the aubergines. Insert a corer in the center of each aubergine and rotate to cut a cylinder out of the middle. You should bring this as close to the bottom of your aubergine as you can, making sure not to cut through the bottom or sides of the aubergines. For the peppers, lay them flat on a cutting board and cut the tops off. Clean your pepper by removing the heart, seeds, and any white flesh from the inside. You can keep the tops for decoration. After coring all your aubergines, you should rinse them out to remove any seeds or loose bits of flesh. Fill each one with water and rinse it out a few times. To stuff the aubergines, spoon or push the rice mixture into each one. Push it down into the aubergine but don't press hard as you don't want to compact it. Fill the aubergines until about half a centimeter from the top, as the rice will expand quite a bit. For the peppers, add a few tablespoons of rice to each one until just below the top. To prevent your vegetables from sticking to the pot, wash or peel a large potato and cut it into thick slices. In a heavy bottom stainless steel pot, lay your potatoes in a single layer covering the bottom of the pot. Then start placing your aubergines in the pot, standing them upright and placing the peppers in the center. Add your stock to a jug. If you're making this using stock cubes, be sure to use high quality ones. Add the rest of your tomato puree and mix it in. 
Place your pot over a high heat and pour your stock in, making sure to avoid pouring it into any of the vegetables. It should just about come up to the height of the potatoes at the bottom. Once the stock comes to a boil, you should turn the heat down to medium low and cover the pot. The aubergines and peppers will release a lot of water while cooking, so it won't dry up. After about 40 minutes, check your vegetables. The rice should have doubled in size and you should taste it to make sure it is cooked through. So all that's left to do is to plate your mashi. I've plated mine upright in a small clay pot and arranged the aubergines on the outside and the peppers on the inside. And that's it for your mashi. This dish is made all over the Middle East with different herbs, spices and even meat. All the different recipes are uniquely delicious. I hope you give this Egyptian version a try and please tag me on Instagram if you do. The link is down at the bottom. As usual, all the ingredient amounts are in the description box below. If you have any Middle Eastern recipe requests, please leave a comment below and I'll add them to my list. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll be back soon with the next video.